Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutzarot and uh, this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and uh, Gemini Rising a weekly tarot reading for January 28th to February 3rd, 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again guys that that will be a general reading for a uh, Gemini star sign and for that reason in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but uh, you will have to align that reading that I will do here a general reading with uh, your personal situation for maximum accuracy as uh, every single Gemini has a, a different situation you know that they are coping with right now uh, if you and as well I will try to do to give you a few examples here just to make the reading a bit more clearer and more personal if I can <clears throat> but if uh, ultimately you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot like just like I'm doing for the examples in this video that is a subject of a personal reading and uh, for personal readings uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there uh, you are going to find a full list of my services as well as uh, their pricing so this is the general outlook of the week here uh, as an enhanced spread we are going to draw additional card per position but for now let's just do the overview let's, ju let's just do the summary first and it does look like here, Gemini's, that you will have a, um, a lot of things to, to choose from. And that exactly is going to be the curse throughout this week. You know, it's, it's kind of like you will not have a, a single narrative to work with, but there will be more than just one. There will be quite a lot of uh, ideas, if you want to say it that way, you know, quite a, a lot of options available. And you may find yourself a bit in, indecisive which one you should take on and uh, how in general to approach your situation either career-wise or either relationship-wise. And uh, just by the looks of the cards, uh, this week you should uh, try to restrict yourself of um, taking a major decision as a matter of fact. It is because uh, we do have the moon card here into a, the main position or the topic of the week and the moon card on its own it does signifies a time of uh, insecurity you know because you don't know what is going on you don't know what is happening to you what is happening around you as well i mean you can't reach the bottom of the situation why for example your partner in relationship is acting that way or why things since your career isn't performing as you are expecting and etc etc and that that is because the moon card sits there as a um, I don't know how to say it really in English but a, as a prerequisite should I say it that way so it, it literally tells you that the situation haven't developed yet to that extent that you can actually make an, an accurate decision for it so it's it's normal if you feel throughout this week you know that you are losing grasp upon uh, upon your situations career wise or rather uh, relationship wise again but that this this doesn't mean that uh, your things are going to fall into ruin the moon card is very important because it does says that something significant for you is waiting you somewhere along the, the path or the road that you have caution, consciously chosen. And for that reason, uh, regardless of uh, how insecure your situation right now it looks like, it is important not to give up from it. Not to give up from your relationship, not to give up from your project and etc. etc. Because the more the time passes from now on, the more clearer the picture will start becoming to you and the more obvious the right choice will become the additional card of the moon that will be the uh, the six of pentacles and this is a another confirmation that things are happening happening exactly as they're supposed to 
but because as I said their uh, development awaits further into the future right now uh, you are just seeing only the remnants of um, the, the remnants of what is to become uh, further down the road just to give you an, an example of what I'm trying to say here um, let's say that you are dating with a specific woman or with a specific guy and uh, suddenly throughout this week uh, January 28 to February 3rd you know this person start acting uh, awkward and uh, start acting weird doesn't return your text messages or kind of deflecting you for a proposal for a proposal of a date and etc etc and what you may think here instantly is that this person isn't interested in me any, any longer but the reason that it is not in you in that specific case if we are going for that uh, for that um, example or your situation is that example this person has issues outside of the framework of this interaction that you do have with them and they want first to um, basically resolve the peripheral issues before they can actually devote to uh, that potential of a relationship if I may express it that way and it's what these cards are pointing here is is that you know your goal is a good thing but first you have to sort out the things or the predicaments that are sitting on the path of uh, of that goal so don't don't be biased about the outcome of your situation you know but just try to persevere through the week without taking as i said a, a major decision uh, because a major decision uh, will do you just more harm than good in that case because the circumstances are going to shift in a couple of weeks to a month the next card that we do have this is the the knight of wands in the knight of wands uh it is the core of the seats in the core of the situation or it does point uh to why these things are happening and in that case i don't believe that this is a person that comes more like a event or a circumstances and the knights of wands is a event circumstances it does point to the variety of the uh, of the situation or that this whatever you are in right now divorce for example a business project a relationship just like i gave you an uh, as a example has many ways to unfold itself and right now as the moon stands there uh, <clears throat> neither of those ways have developed to a certain extent that you can act upon it that's why the knight of wands here urges you to experiment throughout this week you know try one thing that you think is going to work if it doesn't work it's not going to be um it's not going to be way too late you know for you to withdraw from it and try additional one uh, and it, in general this card here points that you should take on uh, these situations with much more lightly and much more carelessly than uh than you are may uh, than you maybe are approaching them and uh on top of that with uh, with this night it is very important as well to uh, how can i explain it let me draw another card just so i can give you a fulcrum here to not be it's not exactly disappointed but always to 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 seek a better perspective all right so if one thing doesn't work for you it will be good if you can adapt yourself to um to another standpoint which seeks a, a better perspective so for example if we are saying here the dating that this person is deflecting you uh, you may try to approach that person from a uh, from a different perspective or from a different way maybe dating is not an option available right now but maybe a phone call it will be a, an option available you know or, or a different enterprise that you can give to them which they will find amusing so it's kind of like trying to keep up the interest in case this is a uh, <clears throat> this is a romantic interest here or <clears throat> try to keep yourself involved into the project and into the matters uh, at hand but uh, in the same time you know uh, be creative that is what I'm trying to say here your creativity it is what is going to give a, a sustainability of this um, 
of this situation which is right now plunged into vagueness but as I said sooner rather than later this vagueness is going to be um, extinguished uh, if I may express myself that way and uh, as the vagueness kind of like you know it's no longer in there then the obvious choice uh, will come to you or the right choice will become obvious to you but for now these cards are pointing that you should be rather more playful with your situation and always seek a, a better perspective if one of the perspective or, or if one of your approaches isn't working toward that particular matter the next card that we do have here into the challenges which are causing predicaments that is going to be the five of cups with the king of wands and uh, this uh, kind of like expresses the expectations that you may have throughout uh, toward the situation which you may not meet throughout this week now as i said uh, you know it, it does requires a little bit more time of your situation to develop it's not going to be throughout this week and just because you're not seeing the expectations uh, you want or you're not seeing you know the results that you are expecting uh, that may um, how can I place it that may put you into a standpoint of walking away now the um, five of cups expresses uh, the partial loss and this is a loss of expectations it is not a material loss so you aren't going to lose um, a person here or a potential suitor you aren't going to lose an option available and etc etc you are just going to lose like I said an expectation kind of like you are expecting that your pro that for example you're going to attract a client of your project in this uh, in this week but this isn't going to happen because the client has another let's say another um, you know another appointment or they have uh, about another business to do throughout that week and they're postponing this meeting for the next week that will make you disappointed to a point where you may think well it's they're postponing the meeting for a fourth time let's say and um, you know that may make you in a standpoint to just walk away especially if that is a private business so what these cards here are pointing is that you despite that the situation is not going to be emotionally fulfilling throughout this uh, week not to give up from it it is because the five of cups plays a, um, a kind of like a role of uh, of taunting or a, um, a role uh, uh, it has a role of test it tests you it um, it basically urges you not to abandon the path that you have consciously chosen even though the current situation you're finding yourself in throughout that path it is a rather um, let's say unsatisfiable to the to very least additionally the knight of the king of wands here it does expresses the high expectations that you may have that's why i'm saying that this is going to be the loss that you're going to suffer but as well uh, the knight uh, the king of wands here it is a uh, passive enemy to the uh, to the five of cups which points that it will somewhat throughout that week even though you may find your situation as i said not as satisfiable as you thought is going to be you will find it very difficult to lose uh your positive sense or kind of like your positive outlook so the only way or rather like the only way yeah the only way that you may give up of your situation it is uh, out of pride so you may be way too proud to actually give a, a fifth goal or a second goal of it or etc etc and uh, it's kind of like deep down within yourself with these cards even though you know throughout that week things aren't going to move very fast uh, you will know that eventually um, things are going to develop in your favor and it is what is going to happen it is just it requires more emotional perseverance uh, throughout this uh, throughout this specific week January 28th to February 3rd now <clears throat> 
with this couple of cards here uh, it is also very important to keep on your personal standards and not to allow um, compromises that are smothering you to happen for example if you do have a personal standard of yours um, let's say uh, career wise you do what you do ha you do know your price and you want uh, but uh, let me let me systemize that so you do know your price let's say that your involvement costs a certain amount of money but uh, this project offers you less money than you know the, than you have placed for your involvement these cards are pointing that you should not agree in, that you should not agree into a compromise so you should keep on to your original price or original payment here and that could be the reason why you know the situation may be um, in halt at that specific point because this company that is considering hiring you for example is thinking about it but they are not giving you feedback throughout this week so you are thinking of well maybe they decided not to, uh, not to give me the job and that may uh, provoke you to walk away and in a couple of weeks from now they may call you and tell you you know you got the job with the conditions that you want so that's the whole point of those cards guys just don't give up is because right now throughout this week you are not meeting the expectations that you have as a year prerequisite and the last card that we do have this is going to be the tree of pentacles that is the guidance that uh, tarot is offering to you so that is something um as a um, peripheral thing to the your expectations to to your situation here excuse me so as we said, we are having your, your situation at heart, the prime situation of your life. That could be, again, your business or it could be your relationship. So instead of uh, trying to bang your head against the wall here and feeling despondent about it, as we said over here, uh, why don't you simultaneously with trying to approach it in a different perspective as well try to grow in a different um, in a different field or in a different area what these cards here are pointing is that you do have a, a different area in your life that you can uh, establish solid foundations you can attract support that will support you through your development and start growing in it these cards as well are pointing here you know that you that it is time for you to start thinking in a big uh, in a big scale right uh, because the ten of cups with the three of pentacles it does expresses uh, this part of the human nature where no matter how much one has it is never enough and one always needs to stray for more so if you do have a, a good business here you know and you're waiting for a confirmation even though you are approaching your client from a different angle but they still haven't decided all right simultaneously with it maybe you will have to decide or you will have to figure out how to grow your business in a different field or from a different branch as well and if we're talking about relationship type you know let's say as a uh, once again that you are dating but these these people are deflecting your uh your text, your phone calls, and etc., etc. You're trying to approach them with a different perspective here, and simultaneously, these cards are pointing that you should start paying more attention to the people that are supporting you as well, like social circle, friends, family, and etc., etc. Basically, the guidance here for you, Gemini's, is telling you that this situation that you are facing, vague, and that you are feeling insecure at, it is not the only thing in the world that makes you lucrative that makes you successful and that makes you happy you can find those things in a different branch in your life it is just you have to dig deeper and you will have to as well start from scratch because the tree of pentacles it is about laying a foundations so it's kind of like a backup plan that you can create for yourself here throughout that week and i suggest you to open your eyes and figure out where this backup plan lies so uh, that was the tarot reading for you guys and now let me shuffle uh, the Lenormans and what they are to show us is a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid.
Alright, so the first card that is going to be the fish and the fish is about money and it is about as well growth, expand. Then we do have the mountain, the mountain is about delays, it's about predicaments and it's also a about finding another way around. And the last one, this is going to be uh, the, the sickle or the scythe and the scythe is about harvest and also it's about cutting the next card and the next card of it that is going to be the uh, the path which points a to decision or a second way of doing things so uh, we are having here delay of growth or delay of collecting money all right but they will inevitably going to uh, going to come in your way so it's it's the delay we were talking about here I don't think it's about with the Norman cards I don't think it's about a relationship cycle it is more like a, a career cycle here it's more like collecting debts collecting uh, payments and etc etc which are to be delayed you may try it from a different angle you know but this different angle it is unlikely to work however uh, ultimately you will realize that eventually those money or this growth is gonna come in your uh, in your way but <clears throat> just to keep yourself busy trying to approach the situation from a different perspective because exactly it is how you're gonna find the another way how you can do that thing you know uh, will help you to ease your mind and as well to maintain your positive attitude and positive outlook toward this situation so that being said Gemini's this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, January 28th to February 3rd 2018 uh, 19th excuse me I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again this was a general reading for Gemini star sign and for that reason in this video I tried my best to explain you the, the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but you will have to align it with your personal situation just like I did for the few examples uh, in this video. If you want me to do that for you uh, in a personal reading then you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.